This is Steve McCann from PhillyGayCounter.com. We're here at the 2009 Boys of Summer Party where we just watched an amazing performance by the infamous Colton Ford. Welcome to Philadelphia. Well, thank you. Now, you just had a brand new album release. Tell us about this new album. Um, it's an album of cover tunes. Um, it comes out September 1st, and um, it's a bunch of songs that I love. How did you pick the songs? Um, it was a combination of myself and my manager. Um, and it was very, like, in the moment, organic, you know, so um, the whole recording process, we just kind of flowed with the whole thing, so. Did you have a favorite among all of them? You know, each song kind of speaks to me in a different way. Um, I love losing my religion. I love It's No Crime, Old Baby Face Tune. Um, I mean, you know, By My Side. There's, there's something really great about each track that we did. And now you've, you've done everything. You you have you have you have what done do it you have, later, but you, I mean you've got I mean uh, adult films, music, TV, movies. You know, I, do you have a favorite? Do you have a place you're going now? Um, you know, music's always been my passion. I've always done music. Um, I did the adult film thing for ten months. Um, it was a unique experience. It was an adventure. It was something that I shared with my partner at the time and. Um, but I really love creating music, and um, and I love to act, and you know I'm just doing you know whatever speaks to me. Was you in a jazz quartet years ago, correct? Years ago. Your, your dorky side? No, 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 like Manhattan Transfer. I mean, old like 30s, 40s swing uh, music. We we opened for like Waylon. You remember Waylon and Madam and David Brenner? We did the, this was uh, back in the 80s when the LA jazz scene was really happening. Linda Ronstadt just came out with What's New, and and it's timeless music, and um, you know I love doing it. I mean I, I just love music. There was no dorky little Colton Ford, was there? You were a skinny kid growing up. Help us out. Uh, you know what? I, I was during high school. I was a really short kid up until high school, and then I just grew very quickly. So it took me a minute to kind of like grow into my my body, but I did. <laughs> I'm happy to say that I did. We're gonna want pictures from proof, like high school. They're out there. We'll call your mom, we will. They're out there, unfortunately. We'll Facebook you. Yeah, you know, whatever you, whatever you need to do, man. <laughs> so what do you have next? What's your next, are you talking to another media somewhere? Um, I've, I've got a bunch of gigs to promote the, um, the album. Um, the video's just starting to air on Logo and HBO and here. Um, I'm in a, um, a gay vampire show on here TV. So the third season starts during September 4th. Um, there's a reality show that's being developed. So um, a couple possible film projects. So you know, I am uh, trying to diversify as much as I can because that's really what's happening now with regard to artists. It's really about you know getting your finger in as many pots as possible. Um, oh, where that finger has been. <laughs> Who would your ideal duet be with? We get the tough questions here. Yeah. Um, ideal, that's hard to say. I, I sang with Shaka Khan, which um, was amazing. I absolutely adore her. I um, did a couple of dates at the True Colors tour. Cindy Lauper, who's brilliant. Um, I love Brandy, I love Shante Moore, um, Mariah Carey, you know, I like the girls. Even though I'm a gay dude, I like the girls. So if they're out there watching, call him. And George Michael, I would love to do something with George Michael, I think that would be awesome, you know. Well, thank you very much. I think it would be really good for his career, too. <laughs> you help everyone's career. You know what, That's I, I'm a giver. I didn't even hear about R.E.M. before you sang the song. See? Who knew? And I heard from Michael Stipe, which was really amazing. Um, so, you know, I'm just doing my thing. I'm continuing to create music and perform, and, you know, it's all you can do is do what you love to do and see what comes of it. So, you know. And where can we get your CD? Um, everywhere online and... Um, 
You know, really specialty stores because the, the standalone record stores are closing, unfortunately. Um, but the digital thing is where it's at right now. Everyone wants their shit immediately. Ooh, can I say shit? You can say shit. You can say whatever you want. Fuck, I'm so sorry. I don't normally fucking cuss, but what the hell? Again, I'm calling your mother. Okay. And she'll say, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for your interview. We hope you enjoy Philadelphia. I always enjoy Philly. Love Philly. Thank you. Losing my religion.